So the moral sin says like this. There's a certain amount of money you have to have comes next era of Rosh Hashanah. A certain amount of money you're going to have in the bank. And your total assets are going to be worth a certain amount of money. Not a penny more, not a penny less. If you steal from someone or you're dishonest with someone, you, know, you, you now have extra money in your pocket. You're troubling the Rebbein Shem to make sure you lose that money. So whether this person has an unexpected medical expense or whether this person runs into a business, or, the score has to even out. So where's your Yerushalayim? You know what you're forcing the Rebbein Shem to do? Rebbein Shem is to go figure out now and even it out because you decided to take something that's not yours? Because it can't be you're going to come to Rosh Hashanah with a penny more because of Ganeva, because of Ganeva, because of Gezev. That ultimately, everything comes to its cheshm. What are you doing? What are you taking? What are you stealing? Right? The Chavetz Chaim's famous marshal, the guy is selling him bundles of hay. How, how are we going to know how much hay? Every time I put a bundle of hay off my truck into your shed, I'll throw a penny into the, you know, your pushka. Then we'll count the pennies. Meanwhile, he steals the pennies. Ha ah, there's no pennies here. Yeah, but doesn't chap, I stole his pennies. But that's, the guy's not paying you for the hay. What are you taking? The score is going to have to be even. The score is going to have to be even in terms of the Tzaras of Kalal Yisrael also. Because there is nobody, not Kalal Yisrael at large, there's nobody that has perpetual Tzaras. There's a measurement, there's a, there's a, there's a glass, and, there's, and there's, when, as soon as the last kernel of sand comes down, the Tzaras stops. 